A 65-year-old woman is recovering tonight after being mm. bitten by a shark. Happened at about 8.30 this morning at Anaiho Malu Bay near Waikolo on the Big Island. Jeb Beniza spoke with a victim earlier today who says despite the incident, she'll go back into the water. Jen? Dash officials say the bite was 12 inches long. I spoke with the victim, Kimberly Bishop, after she got out of surgery. Now, she was bitten on her upper thigh, said she's doing okay, and she tells me it happened while she was kayaking. Kimberly Bishop and her husband, Kim, were kayaking in AB this morning something they've done many times before. The water was really clear, so I could see in front of me. There was nothing in front of me. We could see all the way down. That's when she says something bumped her kayak. Something came from behind, knocked over the kayak, and bit my leg. She knew she'd been bitten by a shark and yelled to her husband for help. I saw the fins in the water, and I immediately um, paddled as fast as I could to get over to her. She was able to get back into her kayak, and they called for someone to help them. Officials say she was attacked by a five-foot-long black tip reef shark. Bishop's husband thinks it was something else. It wasn't a six-foot shark. I, you know, it, it was bigger than that for sure. I have to believe it was a uh, tiger shark based on what I've seen of the pictures. No matter what kind of shark it was, Bishop tells me she still loves the ocean. I'm not afraid. I'll go again. Bishop and her husband split their time between California and the Big Island, and she was also in very good spirits when I spoke to her. She tells me once her leg heals, the scar will make for a great story. The DLNR officials say they are still investigating if it was a black tip reef shark involved today. I also spoke with a shark expert who explains why it's unlikely she was attacked by a black tip reef shark. More on that interview tonight at 6. Dash.